Hey guys, welcome to the third and final video for this part. Um, the objectives for this video are going to be using the, um, the distribution of pressure we developed in the previous video to find the net pressure distribution. We're then going to understand how we go from a pressure to a line load, and then we're going to find the force per unit length of our wall, and that's the net force per unit length. So, in the previous video we developed the pressure distribution, which looked like this. So the first thing we're going to do is just convert this into a net pressure distribution. So it's very easy to do. We're going to redraw our wall. So we have the points 3 meters, 1 meter. Once again, it doesn't have to be to scale anything. It's very rough. Um, 0 0.5, 0, uh, minus 0 0.3, minus 1, and minus 1.5. Okay, so that's our different heights. So all we do now is we look at corresponding points and subtract them from each other. So for example, at 3, left hand side is 0, right hand side is 0. So we're staying at 0. Okay. At the point 1, left hand side is 19.6, right hand side is 0. So we go across to 19.6. Okay. Left hand side at 0 0.5 is we found to be 22.8 and the right hand side is still 0. So we're going to go across at 0 0.5 to 22.8. A good idea is just to match up these points just so we know where they are. 